Time now to sit back and open a bottle of bubbly. It's our annual guide to the best champagnes to celebrate Christmas with and all at a price that you can afford. Let's get the bubbly flowing. To find out, we've enlisted the help of seasoned champagne drinkers, Wendy, Diana, Susie and Lisa. I think on a champagne, I'd probably look between $40 to $60 for a decent champagne, I would think. Probably around $25, $30 at the most. You don't need an excuse to drink champagne, you can drink it any time. In a blind test, they will try six popular brands for colour, texture and of course flavour. Each will score the bubbly out of 10. Now the most expensive one ranges at about $60 to $70. The least expensive retails for under $15. With so many bottles on the market, it's often hard to pick the perfect festive fizz. So I assume if it's a well-known brand that at least it's going to taste nice. But Jane says that's not always the case. Back at the bar, our ladies are in a merry mood. My glass just seems to be getting smaller and smaller. It goes down really easily. <laughs> and it really tastes like champagne should taste. So, what's the verdict? Can we have champagne taste on a beer budget? In last place, the most expensive bottle, Moet, scoring just 17 and a half points. I'm quite bitter. Very quite bitter. bitter. I think I need a strawberry. Probably <laughs> <laughs> the expensive one because it's got that mouldy sort of smell and flavour to it, like a French wine sometimes has. The $24 bottle of Chandon was next. I think it smells more like a champagne. I love the colour. The bubbles are great. It's not quite as bitter as the last one. And I do like it a bit sweeter, though, so I think I'd give it a six. I didn't like that one. I, I much prefer the other one. Um, this, it, it's more bubbles, and it's not as easy to drink. I want to get it out of my mouth, really. <laughs> The $23 bottle of Yellow Glen Pearl came in fourth place with 25 and a half points. Not too dry, not too dry, really smooth, lovely. It actually tastes a bit like beer. In third place, French Champagne Catier scoring 27 out of 40. I really like this one, it's very, very light, um, very easy to drink. It actually packs quite a punch. It just sort of tastes like you'd expect a champagne to taste. Coming a close second was Brandon, which you can pick up for around $13. It just sits really well. It's a really nice taste in your mouth. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's sort of creamy. It's kind of almost velvety. And finally, in first place, with a score of 32 and a half out of 40, is Aussie brand Yarraburn. This one is fantastic. Mm. So a little dangerous then. Very dangerous. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Yes. No house wine here. <laughs> Not sending this back. This is good. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. Thank you.